So I've just completed on my fourth property. So now I'm gonna take you around to all my properties, giving you a little tour. And I'm gonna to start off with this one, which is my house, which is the first property that I bought. Let's go. All right, this is the first lady. All right, this is the living room. Although there's no living room, times are hard, can't afford no furniture. This is the kitchen. I fitted this kitchen all on my own. From the towels on the wall to the towels on the floor to the kitchen doors, cupboards and that. We got the Jamaican flag, come on. For the last two years I had not had no letterbox and for the next couple of years I'm not going to have no letterbox. I just put a towel there to keep out the draft. It's the toilet. I fit everything in here myself. From the tiles on the floor to the toilet to the sink to the tiles on the wall. Uh, if you hear that drilling and that, they're doing some work next door. I've done the carpets there myself. It's my bedroom. I'm a minimalist, so I ain't got that much. I'll show you my garden, my garden is mad. You've never seen a worse garden than this, you know. No maintenance whatsoever. Bathroom. This is my drying room, this is where I dry all my clothes and that. I'm a madman. I like to buy trainers in twos and threes. So all three up here, they're all the same. These three here, they're all the same. I've never worn these yet. You know, I've had them for like four or five months. They've not touched rolled, not once, not one pair of them. Z they're called ZX 750s. I've got about, so I've got three here, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight. So I've got eight pairs of ZX 750s. They're like my favorite trainers and that, so. And it's my other junk room. So, oh, the infamous green hoodie. You lot see me wearing them in my videos all the time. Right, back downstairs. So I'm just going to quickly run through some numbers before I head out. So these are the four keys to my four properties. And here we've got the chronological order of when they were purchased. Now the reason why I've put bits of paper over the keys and that, because apparently if someone knows where you live or knows the address and they can see the key, then they can make a copy of it. Some madness I heard. So I thought, you know what? There's no harm in covering over the key. So the first property that I bought is the one that I'm in now. That's my house. I bought that in 2017. I bought that for 136,000. Today, it's worth 210,000. The next property that I bought is my first buy to let property. I bought that in 2021. I bought that for 105,000. And today, it's worth 120,000. The next property I bought is my third property, which is my second buy to let property. I bought that in 2022 for 125,000. Today is worth approximately 135k. And then my fourth property that I bought, which is my third buy to let property. Obviously, I bought that in 2023. I completed two days ago. Purchase price was 130,000 and it's worth about 135,000. So these two are both the same. And you'll see why they're both worth the same amount of money. Right, I'm going to go now. So I'm going to get my keys and keep it moving. So my way to my second property, which is my first buy to let property. Bought this property in 2021 for 105k. And I recently checked online, it's worth about 120,000. Now I just checked on Zoopla, that's without a surveyor coming out to assess the property. Man. They say online it's worth 120k, but if someone came out in person, they probably would value it more, maybe 125 or 130k. But without doing any in person checks or valuations, properties worth 120 grand uh, on paper. 
Alright, we're at the first buy to let property, which is my second property. I'm showing you like this room here is because obviously it's a vacant available room at the moment but I'm going to have someone in there within the next few weeks or so. Um, yeah, this room here I'll rent out for about £700. first done up this property yeah, it was prestigious yeah? new carpet new paint new tiles upstairs downstairs in the bathroom and that the place was like an extension of my own house and I moved some uni students in and they was here for three weeks and it was coming like they had lived there for three years you know that even the place just smelled and that so I was vexed so what you're gonna see with the next two properties is I ain't made that much effort, I've learned, I've learned from my mistakes, I'm not going to make that much effort because the people that are going to move in, I'm not saying they're going to trash the place but they're not going to respect the place like that and for the most part it's men that rent rooms and men, if you know anything about men, I work in men's houses on a day to day basis and that, we, we don't care about a house looking pretty and whatnot. so as long as the place is clean and that we just need food, water and shelter and that, so men don't care about the place looking all pretty and prestigious. So I might make that much effort with the other property. second buy to let it's a one bed flat again I bought that in 2022 December so basically this time last year for 125 grand I had to put down a 25% deposit on 32,500 literally just two minutes away start making my way towards the fourth property which happens to be on the opposite side So I completed on this property two days ago. It's Wednesday today and completed on Monday. Yeah, it's just a small one bed flat. It's pretty much the same as the flat that's opposite. 
Um, don't know what I'm gonna do with the kitchen. I might leave it. I might not leave it. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'll show you the uh, bedroom. So this is the, no, this is the living room. So this is the living room. What was the living room? Uh, paint the walls white. These blobs are how I filled in the walls and that's so to fill the walls because there's plenty of holes. They had TVs, pictures, whatnot, whatnot, all over the place and that. But I'm not going to be doing no prestigious job. This is not like the first buy to let prop, which is my second buy to let. I'm not putting no mad time and mad effort into it because, like I said, the man that are coming to move in, they don't care about quality. Yeah? They just need food, water, and shelter, and that's it. Yeah? As long as the place is relatively clean and that, and it looks semi okay then they're alright with that. So what I'm gonna try and do, I'm not even trying to take off this wallpaper, I'm gonna paint over it. You know, I can laugh and say, oh, it's a box job and that. I'm not making that sort of effort. I'm experienced in this now, hey, I know what to do from what not to do. And no one's gonna give a damn that someone's painted over the, um, the wallpaper. All right, let me show you the original bedroom. Yeah? So yeah, this is where obviously the previous occupier is the this was their bedroom and that. So it's a decent size room. This room here was rent for about 450. And the room next door you can rent that out for 400, uh, 700. Got a little storage room there. Bathroom here. Oh, that's a nice thing. But yeah, that's all right. They got two showers. They got an electric shower, and they got just a normal shower. So it's, it's, it's a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, you got two showers, so just in case one stops working. Um, yeah, with this kitchen, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But yeah, man, that's it for today, man.